And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to carnal, as to babes in Christ. Now, here, Paul actually laments his challenge. Corinthian church was founded by Paul after his ministry in that place for almost 18 months. And it was an amazing church, a fast growing church. But the problem with people was they were still carnal people. They have not become really spiritual. Uh, in other words, to be carnal, the meaning of the word to be carnal is to be led uh, and controlled by the five senses. So it's sensory knowledge. I mean, being attracted by what the eye says is attractive, being carried away by what you hear in your ears through someone or, or some media. You know, it's, it's how you feel emotionally, the, the high emotion that kind of decides your uh, life. Or when you feel low emotionally, then, then you feel everything is doomed. Now, this is exactly the way the world or the people of the world, they live and operate. To be carnal is to be controlled, directed, and led by the five senses. So the Corinthian church were in fact children of God. You can even call them as sheep in the flock of the shepherd. But the problem with them was they were more tuned to the world in their spiritual ears in their inner ears than to be tuned to God and His Spirit. So that was a challenge and that is still a challenge today. One of the first things that God really wants to, you know, crack open is the fact or the truth that we need to get out of this realm of living, uh, being led, by being guided, being directed and controlled by the sensory knowledge by the five senses and, and move to the next level, to the next realm where we are led, we decide to be led, we decide to be guided and controlled or guided and directed by God and His Spirit. Praise God. Amen.